Shalom Saints and welcome to today's reading from the book of John. Today we are finishing John chapter 4 starting in verse 43. If you want to read along with me, go ahead and grab your Bibles and open up to John chapter 4 verse 43. Jesus heals an official son. Shall we begin? After the two days he left for Galilee. Now Jesus himself had pointed out that a prophet has no honor in his own country. When he arrived in Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him. They had seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, for they also had been there. Once more he visited Cana in Galilee, where he had turned the water into wine. And there was a certain royal official whose son lay sick in Capernaum. When this man heard that Jesus had arrived in Galilee from Judea, he went to him and begged him to come and heal his son, who was close to death. Unless you people see signs and wonders, Jesus told him, you will never believe. The royal official said, Sir, come down before my child dies. Go, Jesus replied, your son will live. The man took Jesus at his word and departed. While he was still on his way, his servants met him with the news that the boy was living. When he inquired as to the time when his son got better, they said to him, yesterday, at one in the afternoon, the fever left him. Then the father realized that this was the exact time at which Jesus had said to him, your son will live. So he and his whole household believed. This was the second sign Jesus performed after coming from Judea to Galilee. That is John chapter four, verse 43 through 54. So with that, saints, may we never forget to always suit up, boot up every single day, wearing the whole armor of God. Always be praying in the spirit, being covered by the blood of the lamb. And until next time, get your rapture robes ready because he truly is coming back soon. Also, I know I've taken a couple days off. The house has been a little wonky. The dogs have not been themselves. We've had the same experience other watchmen have experienced over the last few days. The random knock, knock, knock at the door and nobody's there. Uh, we've also experienced that. Plus our internet's been very just kind of hit or miss. Um, equally important to note is that after I posted my last video wishing my older sissy a happy birthday, uh, we did end up finding each other on TikTok. However, it only lasted a few hours uh, simply because the moment I mentioned Jesus, she she ran as she always does. And so please keep my sissy and Annette in your prayers. And um, the Lord has just been really working on my heart to just accept that she's most likely going to be a tribulation saint. I'm going to cling to that. So I just want to encourage the brethren in this hour that um, trust God with your loved ones like never before. Ironically, I have had rapture dreams since I was a toddler. I have been having rapture dreams. And every time in my rapture dream, my sissy's left behind. Every time. Ever since I was a toddler. But God is good and his arm is not too short to reach her. He is faithful and he is loving. And it's probably going to take the rapturing of the church. For her to wake up and accept that she was deceived and she got it wrong and um, I have to trust that my Lord and Savior loves her more than I ever could so are your hearts to go home we go home soon you guys we like legitimately go home soon so release those loved ones into his loving arms into his care and trust him. Don't look back anymore. Stop looking back. It's time to let go and prepare your hearts fully. And real quick, in case my sissy Nanette um, comes across this video as well, give your life to Jesus. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Don't be stubborn. Don't be stubborn anymore, okay? I know you think your energy and that you were sent to heal humanity and that is a lie straight from hell, okay? Only Christ Jesus can redeem humanity. The blood of the Lamb, Christ Jesus, what he did on the cross. You you were not sent to save me from my childhood trauma. And I'm really sorry that Satan deceived you into thinking that it was your job to be my savior. You're not my savior. So, 
understand that it's you that needs a savior and his name is Christ Jesus. And once you accept him, I want you to cling to Revelation 12, 11. For the saints defeated the enemy by the blood of the lamb and by their testimonies. Okay? I love you. Cling to that Bible I sent you and cling to Christ. Because every word. Let him be the keeper of your soul, not your delusion, but your energy. I love you. I love you.